Our most compassionate acquaintances return. For your deeds, we owe you many thanks. But something tells me our thanks are not sufficient. The strange thing is, I was certain you understood our position. And yet here you are with that same look in your eyes and those same words upon your lips, I'll wager. I speak only the truth. The Confederacy will not be spared Yotsuyu's wrath. You have always known this, that one day you would have no choice but to stand up to the Empire. I say to you that day is today, and come once more to ask that you join us in the fight. How convenient that recent events should lend such credence to your claims. Tell me, do death and destruction always follow in your wake? They had no part in it, Tansui. You know this. We all know this. They came and took our Doman brothers. They will torture them for her sport. Murder them for her satisfaction. So we attack and get butchered for our trouble, or do naught and let them have their pound of flesh. If this be our choice, I say we suffer the ignominy. We endure. We survive. There is no better path. Until the day our enemy is grown weaker and we stronger, there can be no retribution. We will wait for a sign. Such is the judgment of the Confederacy. So that's it then. You're just going to abandon them to her. They'd die for you, you know, for the Confederacy. They would die for you, but you wouldn't even think to risk your lives for theirs. I have one last idea, if you will allow. I'm afraid it's not very good as ideas go. It's exceedingly reckless, in fact, and you may well come to despise me for ever having suggested it. Assuming we survive, that is. The question being, do you trust me? We can't stand by and let innocent people suffer, here or anywhere else. I'll do whatever it takes. Then let us roll the dice. If it's a sign you want, we shall give you one. One rousing enough to make you drive every Garlean out of Isari without a second thought. You are wary of invoking the ire of the Imperial forces stationed in Dome, correct? Know then that once we have rescued our comrade and freed Asari, we mean to liberate the nation as a whole. You will doubtless require assurances that we are capable of achieving this, and that is only fair. Accordingly, we shall demonstrate our seriousness by depriving the Garleans of a key ally, the Kojin. <laughs> what, the three of you, just like that? Actually, my esteemed colleague here will attend to it on her own. But the how of it is not your concern, only the outcome. If we succeed, you help us liberate Asari. If we fail, you lose nothing. A simple enough wager, if you have the stones for it. The Little Miss does make it hard to refuse, does she not? Words are air. We will weigh you by your deeds. 